Game Ranks presents five times crazy people called 911 over video games. Yeah, we got a couple of crazy stories for you, so pull up a chair and let's get started with number five. The first situation here is unfortunately really common. Swatting. Yes, everybody's heard of swatting by now because it happens quite a bit. For those of you that don't know, swatting is the act of finding out the information of another player on an online game and then calling in a fake threat to that person's nearest local police. Usually this ends up with police busting in to just find some sweaty guy playing video games instead of a reported hostage situation or a bomb threat or a gunman type situation. It started out as just a thing to do to streamer and Twitch celebrities, but now unfortunately it's moved on to people who just have a bad time playing a certain game. And it's happened far too many times. Colorado, Florida, Michigan, Long Island, New York. It sucks so bad, and if I had the cops call on me, I'd be really pissed. Here's one of the best examples of a really awful swatting. Jordan Gilbert, or Nothing TV from Team Complexity, is a professional Counter-Strike player and a streamer. And unfortunately, during one of his Counter-Strike streams, police bust in and kicked his door down. You could actually see it on a live stream webcam. The police were apparently called in by an anonymous tipster citing a bomb threat. And unfortunately for Gilbert, when you're a high-profile person in video games or just the internet in general, you can go to really far lengths just to hide all your information, but at the end of the day, people can still figure you out because you put yourself out there. And unfortunately, that's what happened because apparently someone really didn't like him or just wanted to really fuck with him. It's a really unfortunate and shitty scenario, but thankfully Gilbert was able to clear things up with the police rather quickly and go right back to playing on his stream. And not to make fun of the situation too much, but it is kind of funny that he was playing Counter-Strike when this happened, you know, because terrorists and bombs and, you know, sorry. While it does sound like one of the most epic pranks ever, people can get shot. When a SWAT team busts in on somebody, if you make a sudden movement, you're getting blown away. And if that sudden movement was just turning around with an Xbox controller, you never know. Some itchy trigger figure could get you and you're dead because video games but here's a lesson from your old pal jake don't swat anyone don't fucking do it if you do it and i find out i'll i'll swat you i'll swat you with my fist at number four, we have a story where the LAPD busted in on a game developer studio. Yes, Robert Bowling, one of the co-creators of Call of Duty, had at one point set up a separate game development office called Robotaki. And in the window of his office, Bowling had a life-size statue of Ghost from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And this thing looked really lifelike and he was armed and holding a gun right in front of a big glass window. At the end of the day, when someone was going home, somebody accidentally hit the alarm button calling the police to show up. When police did show up, they saw a heavily armed guy in the window. So of course they busted in, cuffed Robert Bowling, only to realize busting in with assault rifles that they were just pointing a gun at a statue. Afterwards, everyone was just laughing about it and laughing at the fact that they thought Ghost was a real person who they almost shot. According to an article, the police and Bowling ended up just talking about video games and sitting down to play some Super Nintendo games, which is just such a good happy ending to this story. Isn't that nice? At number three, this crazy mom called 911 after her kid wouldn't stop playing video games. Yes, in Boston, a 49-year-old mother woke up in the middle of the night at like 4 a.m. only to find her kid playing Grand Theft Auto. The mother apparently had a breakdown, unplugged his PlayStation, and then called the cops just because her son would never listen to her. And then the cops had to come over and have a conversation with this kid at 4 o'clock in the morning to stop playing Grand Theft Auto. The mother insisted that she never bought Grand Theft Auto for her kid and apparently broke down in tears during an interview. Honestly, it seems like the mother has more issues with the video games than the kid does. But then again, maybe the kid doesn't listen and he just needs a kick in the ass. Hit him with a wooden spoon or throw a remote at his face. That'll get him to stop playing for a second. At number two, we have a 15-year-old boy that was almost a hero but got cold feet. Yes, this crazy kid called 911 after his parents took away his Xbox 360. He was planning to call 911 to know whether or not his parents were within their rights to take away his Xbox. But then right after he called 911, he got cold feet and he hung up. Of course, because 911 was dialed, the police did show up and tell the kid, yeah, stupid, your parents are allowed to take away your Xbox. They also told him to stop wasting taxpayers' money, you idiot. Three people probably died in a fire while you were too busy taking up the police's time with Xbox problems. And at number one, we have the ultimate 911 video game call, when someone called the local police over that legendary PSN outage. Yeah, do you guys remember that Christmas when PSN and Xbox Live were down thanks to some douchebag hackers? Well, that was a big issue for one teen who decided to call 911. Police released a transcript of the phone call. Here, have a listen to the recorded conversation for yourself. The police or paramedic? Do you, do you know about the whole thing that's going on with the PlayStation Network? <laughs> <laughs> Of course, nothing came of this, but it's really crazy to think that there's somebody out there who's aware of PSN and how it can go down, but they don't even know how 911 works. Did anybody teach this kid anything? Probably not. Yeah, I think what we really need to do is call 911 on this kid's parents because what are they doing? Anyway, guys, those were five times that people called 911 over video games. And pretty much all the people on this list are absolutely crazy. So let us know in the comments if you've ever had an issue with police and video games. Anybody out there? Have you ever been swatted? Let us know your pain. Of course, if you had a good time, click the like button. It helps us out. And subscribing if you're new is the best because we put out videos every day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.